Hi there. Uh, today I want to show you how to use the Tebow connection wizard to set up a very fast connection with your um, serial converter or serial over IP device. So I just ran Tebow connection wizard. I ran it as administrator. Otherwise I would have a little elevate button here because I'm using Windows 7. So I'm going to click next. Here I can select the job type. What exactly do I want the wizard to do? So it's usually very safe to go with a default. And in this case, the default is create a link between a virtual serial port and a device server. Sounds good, sounds like what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now it takes a moment to map out what existing virtual serial ports I have, etc. And I can either select an existing PSP or create a new one. Uh, let's go with an existing one, just let's go for uh, COM4 in this case. Uh, I can of course, if I choose to create a new one, I can just select the COM name and create it. But I already have a couple which I want to use, so let's go for COM4. Next it tells me the VSP is currently opened by another application. Close this application first to allow the wizard to change port settings. So I will not be selecting this COM port, let's go for COM5. There we go, that worked fine. And then uh, I get to specify what device server I'd like to use. Instead of uh, memorizing the IP address of my device server, or maybe I don't even know it, I can just click select from the list. And then it runs a copy of DS Manager. You see, this is DS Manager. And I have a list of all of the device servers on my network segment, which is, um, in this case, just on my desk connected to my hub. So this is my uh, device server. I'm going to double click it, and that's it. It's been selected. I'm going to click Next now. So now we know what virtual serial port we want to use, COM5, and what uh, device server. Now we have to decide which side is going to start the communication. It's either going to be my application, my PC, or the device is going to send data in, like, for example, a MagStrap reader or anything like that that initiates data. Or maybe I don't know. In this case, I'm not sure, so I'm just going to go ahead and click any side. No need to specify the gateway net mask. And here I can select uh, whether I want to do it, whether I want to communicate over UDP or TCP. I'm going to leave it at TCP. That's generally safe. As I said, the defaults are well thought out here. And I'm going to select the listening port on the VSP, which means on the PC side listening for on the device server. If you don't know what this means, you can just leave it as is. You see, I'm not even touching it. Next. Now, on the fly commands. On the fly commands are commands that the PC sends to the device server to set its serial port. So if I open up an application on the PC, which uses my new COM5, and it needs uh, 38400 EPS, then the virtual serial port picks that up and sends a command to the device server so as to have the actual port at 38400. So we usually want those. I'm going to leave it at default. Yes, I do want to enable them. Um, never mind the access methods for now. Just leave them default. Next. Okay, here I can select the settings for my device server, the serial settings. Uh, this is important in case the device server wants to or has to send data on its own, like initiate the connection, not from the PC side, but from the DS side. So I can change the baud rate, let's say 9600, and 8 bits, and flow control disabled, just for the sake of the demo. Next. That's it. This is a summary screen showing me everything, what the definition is what's the configuration for the device server and what's the configuration for the VSP. And I can just hit configure. And that's it. I can now, it's done basically. I can drill deeper into COM5 or into the DS itself, or I can click finish, which I will. Thank you for watching.